Minnesota voter fraud bombshell. This is Project Veritas. This is James O'Keefe of Project Veritas. I have met him twice, and I had good conversations with him both times. And uh, my the general vibe. This, this is a dude of all the people that I've met that have, of any note. This is a guy that was always very accessible to most of the people around him. Very kind of a, seemed like a very grounded, grounded guy, James O'Keefe. So here he is on Info Wars. And before we get to James O'Keefe, James O'Keefe is going to be announcing a bombshell announcement. And yes, I'm going to tease you. I don't always do that, but I'm doing it this time. We're going to go to, we're going to go to this. This is, this needs to set it up because this you're going to appreciate this in the end. I want you to listen to first. We're going to listen to Nick Ricada. The Democratic Committee's motion for a temporary injunction is granted. And this is the relevant, uh, the relevant sections here. Secretary of State is temporarily enjoined. That means prevented from enforcing the prohibition under Minnesota Statute 204C15, Subdivision 1, that limits a person from assisting more than three voters who require assistance to vote by reason of blindness, disability, or inability to read or write in marking their ballots, okay? So they cannot enforce this potential voter fraud, something that since 1959, apparently, in Minnesota, we have determined is voter fraud. They're prevented from enforcing it. So there you go, that's the setup. So this is as a result of the video that James O'Keefe showed, which uh, showed people openly. That actually, these are Somalis. Well, well, I'll give you a little bit of a story here. Here we go. Let's just listen to it. Protected because if anything happens to them now, that that just Let's back me that up. they allow. They, they are 100. percent I, I think he, the, the reason why they're going to be okay is the publicity of it. Right? This was all happening in the shadows, and now that it's come out and you're doing it, and many people did. It was it was trending. It was actually trending on Twitter. We've gotten half a million tweets on this uh, last night, which is a shock to me that they allowed it to trend. But because it's all gone public, I think that these guys are going to be a little more protected because if anything happens to them now, that that just becomes part of the story. But this gives me hope because the 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 of the Muslim community. I think this part is bear, really, really bears watching because I even saw like even on here in this. Uh, OK, so we got itchy blobby blobby with their little blobby blobby name saying import third world scum and don't be surprised when this crap happens. Well, hold on, hold on. It's more complicated than you imagine. Communities that are all insular and very controlled. The Somalis, one of the most controlled and to see their own people being the, being the knights here, being the good guys exposing this gives me a lot of hope. Uh, absolutely. It, 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 what I've been told Alex by these Somali, some of these Somalians uh, this one individual who we didn't disclose her name, but we showed her voice, is that she said that uh, Ilhan Omar does not give a SHIT about the Somalian community, that, that they're victims, right? They're coerced. They're, they're told to do this. No, they get just and, like Somali. Uh, they're being set up as a slave class under her. These people are allegedly literally going around to these elderly uh, communities, the Somali elderly communities and other communities, and they're the weak. They're shaking them down, and they're saying, give us your absentee ballot, and they're getting their absentee ballots from everyone, and then they're alleging that they are buying absentee ballots from other, like young people. They're buying young people's absentee ballots, and then they're going to fill them out. Now remember the injunction, they sued back in January and the allegation that Nick Ricadia says, which I think he's probably right, they knew about these videos. These videos, this isn't Project Veritas going undercover, although they also sent someone undercover as well, but initially this isn't Project Veritas going undercover. This is Somalis going to them and saying, and basically they want help. They don't want to be part of it. I mean, they didn't move over to America to experience Somalia. Basically, Somalia is Somalia in America, is the allegation. Then keep listening. Pretty much, yes, that's another way of saying it, because they're told to do this. They're paid to do this, and they don't, and, and, and they don't care about that community. It's about power. But this is an open secret. It's an open secret there. We're getting Nobody has done Worth anything it. about it. I went to the county prosecutor. He said, this it's illegal, important. but you got to talk to the sheriff. I go to the sheriff. They bring me to the other guy. 
So there you go. I go to the sheriff. They bring me to the other guy. Went through all the legal courses. The secretary of state himself, as a matter of fact. Let's go and let's go back to Nicholas here. Nicholas, would you like to be called Nicholas? Is that something? If you see this video, will you say, "Dude, why you gotta be like that"? So, uh, where is it? Well, I'll, I'll just I'll just repeat it to you. Basically, the Secretary of State of Minnesota, even though he was the one that was sued in the lawsuit by the Democratic the democrat the democrat party is is suing for the right to continue to do this and what they're saying is listen man this is about us being able to help people who don't know the english language fill out these uh forms okay so no this isn't voter fraud we're just trying to help poor people you know e even though the model totally inherently sets up all kinds of opportunities for voter fraud that's that's not that's not a concern that's not a concern even though this is a a state in a in a, in a presidential election it is a it is a it, a contested state yet a district court judge a minnesota district court judge ruled that basically enjoy enjoined the secretary of state of minnesota to not enforce this voter fraud law i mean I don't know where you're weighing what with what, but you're in terms of serving the public. You're fundamentally you're not doing that at all. Nobody and the FBI director says oh, there's no evidence of voter fraud, so it's nobody's going speaking. to do anything about this, Alex. There's Hear no, that? there's no, there's nobody's going to do anything about this. No, the Minnesota, uh, the, the the FBI director said there's no white, there's no voter fraud. And so they won't go after it. Will Will William Barr step no up? No consequence. It's it's. I don't know. I, I I'm about to release another tape. You're, you're, I know you're going to ask me what's next, so I'm going to tell you. There it I'm is. I'm about to release a tape of the actual money exchange on tape. It, it, I don't know there what you go. more money I can exchange. publish wow. to get people Whoa, arrested. Whoa! I just heard the record skip. Start over, James O'Keefe. Yeah. So you, you're smart. Yep. You know, I always say what's coming next. Yep. Money Whoa, exchange. You've got money the exchange. cash being exchanged. Yeah, we got, we got, I mean, yes. Yes, we do. The cash So I, I don't know what, what it will That's take That's what's coming up, I guess, tomorrow. Arrested. I don't know what it will take for anybody to so care going to see them about the fact that our elections are jeopardized. These but what you have here, Alex, is smoking gun, smoking gun evidence. And, and. So I don't have a lot more to say about this right now. This is one of these things that normally I don't cover right away. I don't usually cover breaking stories or whatever but i thought this was uh compelling to, to to just put out something short but this would be something i'd want to spend some more time looking into more details figuring out what's what with what but i think the biggest story is tomorrow you can expect video from project veritas that will show people connected to ilhan omar literally buying these absentee ballots if this is true and you have this on on this video these people using cash to buy these absentee ballots this is gonna or or, or uh, uh, even mail in absentee whatever they got it, this is it, i mean this is gonna really the media will have to continue to push its narrative and look increasingly uh, irrelevant and uh, tone deaf and trash its brand even more. And with that, I say have a great rest of your day because, uh, you know, why the hell not?